Welcome to another insightful video. Today we're taking a deep dive into the world of economics. Our journey takes us across borders and continents, exploring a key economic indicator, the debt to GDP ratio. This ratio is a significant measure of a country's economic health, painting a clear picture of a nation's ability to pay back its debts. It's the ratio of a country's public debt to its gross domestic product, essentially comparing what a country owes to what it produces. From Botswana to Brunei, we'll be shedding light on the top 20 countries with the lowest debt to GDP ratios. These countries, each with their unique economic landscapes, have managed to keep their debts low in relation to their GDPs, showing commendable fiscal discipline and economic management. Now you may wonder, how is this debt to GDP ratio calculated? Stick around and you'll find out. The debt to GDP ratio is a simple calculation. It's a measure that compares a country's public debt to its gross domestic product or GDP. This ratio is an important indicator of a country's ability to pay back its debt. In essence, it gives us an idea of how many years of economic output it would take to pay off the country's debt, assuming the debt and the country's output remain constant. Now, how do we calculate this ratio? It's quite straightforward. We take the total debt of a country, which includes both internal and external debt, and divide it by the country's GDP. The result is then multiplied by 100 to get a percentage figure. This percentage tells us what proportion of a country's GDP is taken up by its debt. Let's imagine a hypothetical country. Let's call it Econoland. Suppose Econoland has a total debt of $2 trillion. Now let's say its GDP for the same year is $10 trillion. To find the debt to GDP ratio, we divide the debt 2 trillion by the GDP 10 trillion. This gives us 0.2. Multiply that by 100 and we get 20%. So Econoland's debt to GDP ratio is 20%. It's important to remember that a low debt to GDP ratio is not always positive, nor is a high ratio always negative. A low ratio may suggest that a country is not investing in potential growth opportunities, while a high ratio could indicate that a country is in a position of potential financial risk or instability. However, in general, a lower debt to GDP ratio is seen as favorable as it indicates that a country produces enough to pay off its debts without incurring further debt. It's a delicate balance that countries strive to maintain. Now that we know how it's calculated, Let's take a look at the countries that have managed to keep their debt to GDP ratios low. As we go through this list, keep in mind how these countries balance their debts with their GDP and how their economic policies might contribute to these figures. Starting at number 20, we have Botswana. This African gem boasts a debt to GDP ratio of 26.1% thanks to its well-managed diamond industry, Botswana maintains a steady economy. At number 19, we find Luxembourg, with a debt-to-GDP ratio of 24.5%. This small European nation thrives on its strong financial sector and high-income market economy. 18th on our list is Kazakhstan, whose debt-to-GDP ratio stands at 24.4%. A significant exporter of oil and minerals, Kazakhstan's economy is robust. Next, at number 17 is Haiti, with a debt-to-GDP ratio of 23.1%. Despite facing numerous challenges, Haiti's economy shows resilience, largely driven by agriculture. 16th on our list is Australia. With a debt-to-GDP ratio of 22.3%, Australia's economy is diverse and competitive, with a significant focus on resources and energy sectors. Moving to number 15, we find Palestine. Their debt-to-GDP ratio stands at 21.3%. Palestine's economy is largely service-oriented, and has shown considerable resilience despite political instability. Kosovo at number 14 boasts a debt-to-GDP ratio of 20.74%. Its economy is driven by the service and industrial sectors, with a focus on food processing and construction. Thirteenth on our list is Bulgaria with a debt-to-GDP ratio of 20.5%. Bulgaria's economy is characterized by its well-developed energy sector and strong agricultural output. At number 12, we have Bosnia and Herzegovina. Their debt-to-GDP ratio stands at 19.6%. The economy here is a balanced mix of agriculture, industry, and services. Finally, at number 11, we have Eswatini, 
previously known as Swaziland. With a debt-to-GDP ratio of 19.44%, Eswatini's economy is heavily reliant on agriculture and manufacturing. We're halfway through our list, let's move on to the top 10. Breaking into our top 10, we have Estonia. This Northern European country boasts a debt-to-GDP ratio of just 18.4%. Estonia has a highly developed economy with sectors such as information technology and telecommunications playing a significant role. Sliding into the ninth place we find Russia. Despite being one of the world's largest economies, it has a surprisingly low debt-to-GDP ratio of 18.2. Russia's vast natural resources play a key role in its economic stability. At number 8 we find Burundi. This small African nation has a debt-to-GDP ratio of just 17.2. Despite facing several challenges, Burundi's agricultural sector has helped maintain a steady economy. In seventh place is Congo with a debt-to-GDP ratio of 14.6. Rich in natural resources, Congo's economy is slowly but surely growing. Sitting at number six, we have Azerbaijan. This Eurasian country has a debt-to-GDP ratio of only 11.7. The country's wealth in oil and gas is a significant factor in its economic stability. Cracking the top five, we have Turkmenistan. With a debt-to-GDP ratio of just eight, Turkmenistan's economy is bolstered by its extensive natural gas reserves. In fourth place is Afghanistan. Despite its tumultuous history, Afghanistan has a debt-to-GDP ratio of only 7.4, thanks to its agricultural sector and natural resources. Taking the bronze medal, we have Kuwait. This tiny Middle Eastern country has a debt-to-GDP ratio of just 7.1. Kuwait's economy is largely driven by oil export revenues. In second place is Hong Kong. With a debt-to-GDP ratio of a mere 3, this special administrative region of China has a highly developed and prosperous economy. And finally, at number 1, we have Brunei. This small Southeast Asian nation has the lowest debt-to-GDP ratio in the world of just 1.9. Brunei's economy, heavily reliant on oil and gas exports, has allowed it to maintain this impressively low ratio. And there you have it, the 20 countries with the lowest debt-to-GDP ratios. It's interesting to see how different countries manage their economies, isn't it? We've journeyed from Botswana's 26.1 debt-to-GDP ratio, through Luxembourg, Kazakhstan, Haiti, all the way to Brunei, with a stunningly low ratio of 1.9. Each country, unique in its economic approach, yet Sharing a common thread of fiscal responsibility, managing a low debt-to-GDP ratio is no easy feat. It requires a delicate balance of investment, spending, and debt management. But as we've seen, it's not just about the numbers. It's about the policies, the people, and the will to strive for economic stability. This list of 20 countries is a testament to the resilience and resourcefulness of nations, large and small, in navigating the complex world of global finance. It's about more than just keeping the books balanced. It's about shaping a future that's sustainable, prosperous, and equitable for all. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Stay tuned for more informative content.